Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm talking about LED nail polishes. And what I wanted to do was to give you guys a review of the different makes of LED gel polishes, which ones I think are good, which ones I don't think are good, and um, just a general review. Because when I started using LED polishes, which is about a year or two ago, I bought the Harvey Nichols Red Manicure Lamp um, and Kit, which will have, I've done a whole video on actually, I'll link that below in case you want to have a look at that. And I wasn't sure whether or not I needed to buy their polishes. And of course, every company that you buy the set off will tell you that you can only use their polishes with it. But I, I thought that that probably wasn't true. And so I've tried practically every other polish out there and um, tested it and to see what the story is. And so I wanted to let you guys know because there wasn't anything that I could find when I was looking for reviews and kind of advice as to whether or not which ones were the best, which ones worked with what, that kind of thing. So um, I've got a few notes here. If you see me looking down, that's what I'm looking at. Um, so I'll talk you through the, there's one, two, three, four, five, six different types that I've tried. Um, I'll tell you what I think of them. And I'll also give you some colors from the range that I think are really good um, and some that maybe aren't, just so you can maybe avoid them if you're looking for a particular color. So, um, the first make is Blue Sky, if I can find it, here it is, Blue Sky, that's what it looks like there. And this one says Blue Sky Shellac Colour, um, it's obviously not the genuine shellac, Blue Sky is um, an imitation. This one is in titanium, it's a grey colour, um, a sort of grey silver colour. And this is the cheapest one, this one was £6 from Amazon. And I put off buying this because I had bought another cheap one that wasn't very good. But this one is actually really, really good. Um, it's a thick one, which means that you need to be careful with application because if you put too thick a coat on, then you're in trouble anyway. Um, but I was pleasantly surprised with this. So if you're looking for a cheap one, this has been good for me. But the only thing I would say is I've only tried the one from this one. Um, usually I, I've tried at least two from the brand. Um, but this one I have only tried one so you, it may be that another colour isn't so great. Um, and I was going to order another one but because it's my birthday month I've put them on my wish list and I'm not allowed to order anything else um, in case my husband wants to buy it for me. So um, I, I'm not going to try another one just yet. But yeah, I would recommend them so far. I haven't chipped, it was easy to put on um, and it worked with my machine, so no problem there. And that colour is actually very nice, the titanium. Um, the next one is called Ye Surprise and this again was another cheap one. This one was £7 from Amazon. Um, it doesn't actually say Ye Surprise on it. This is what it looks like when it arrived. Um, it says Lackey Reth or something like that. I don't actually know what it says, I can't read the writing. This was the colour. Now, um, there's so many things wrong with this, I can't even begin to tell you. The colour was nothing like the colour that they showed on Amazon. And I thought, well, you know, maybe that's my fault or maybe you can't get a good representation of colours on Amazon and so you just have to accept what you got. But I tried to put it on. Um, the look is okay if applied well, but it's, it's really hard to get an even finish on this because it is so thick and gloopy. You know when you use a nail varnish and you take your brush off, but there's still some on the brush and you just can't get it to separate? It's like that. Um, when you get it onto your nails and dry, it, it just doesn't look right. It was completely lumpy and it just looked awful. Um, and then it's and then it started chipping like literally within that one day because I was sort of washing it for the day thinking well well I just put a nail varnish over it will that sort of even it out because once you've put gel polish on it's a bit of a pain to take it off it's just not not just like nail varnish remover where you can whip it off um, but I ended up taking it off because it just looked terrible and like I said it was chipping already so this is another one that I'm afraid I've only tried one from but I will not go back to them because it was so terrible and this is Ye Surprise on Amazon and it's kind of the second cheapest brand um, so I wouldn't recommend trying them. The rest of them I have tried a couple. So the next one is the Harvey Nichols ones. So they are Harvey Nichols red carpet manicure it's called and that's the lamp that I've got so you would assume that everything would work with that. But what I found with the Harvey Nichols ones is they're so variable. They're variable in thickness, they're variable in how true the colour is, um, they're variable in how easy they are to apply, how smooth they look, how, how good the finish is. And I think that what this process has taught me is that it's all about the colours. 
I think that just some colours are harder to make than others and some people get it right and some people don't and it seems like pastel colours are a bit of a problem um, but there are some colours in Harvey Nichols red carpet manicure that are amazing and then there's other colours that are okay and there's other colours that are a bit of a problem. Um, so I've got a couple of examples here. This one is called Simply Stunning and this is the best out of the whole range of colours from Harvey Nichols that I've tried. It's, um, it's a beautiful creamy beige colour and it's got kind of like um, a sheen to it, a really lovely sheen. It's almost a gold, but it's not. It's definitely a creamy beige colour. And it's so thick, but just thick enough that you can put one layer, you can almost get away with putting one layer of this on actually. You normally put two on for gel polish, um, but you could almost do one layer. And it just goes on beautifully. You don't need to touch it up at all. You don't need to be careful. You're just like two stripes and that's you ready to go. Um, and the finish is gorgeous. The last is gorgeous. It lasts and lasts and lasts, doesn't chip at all. I would really recommend this one. It's called Simply Stunning. So that's that one. In contrast to that is this one. It's called Thank You, Thank You, Thank You. <laughs> um, and it's a kind of plummy red or raspberry red. Um, and this one is really thin and really difficult to apply. And when I say difficult to apply, because you, you'll put if you put one coat on and just did one sweep, you would be able to see through it, it'd be translucent. So you need to do a couple of coats of this and you need to kind of really control how much you put on the brush. Otherwise, you'll have patches of translucent and patches of thickness. So you need to be fairly experienced to do this and to get it looking good, to, to give it a nice finish. Um, it is a lovely colour when it's done, but um, yeah, it's quite difficult to apply and not the most even smooth finish. And that one is thank you, thank you. So that's kind of at the opposite end of the Simply Stunning one. Um, next is this one called Love Those Baby Blues. This is um, still the red carpet one. And this one is a lovely finish. It's fairly easy to apply. It's still quite thin. But the colour, I don't know whether you'll be able to see that, the colour is nothing like the bottle. So this is um, this was the first one I got that was a dis disappointment in terms of colour because every other one has kind of come out like the colour on the bottle. Um, so it's it's been pretty easy to tell what colours they are. But with this one, it's nothing like this. It's more like a sort of grey blue. Um, and it's a really nice colour, but it isn't a colour that I would have chosen. This is the colour that I wanted and it's not the colour it comes out. Um, and like I said, it's fairly easy to apply. It's still quite thin, so you have to be a bit careful. But when it dries and it's and it's done, it's a very beautiful, smooth finish and it does last. It doesn't chip at all, so that's good. Um, another one that is really good is this one. It's called Oolalicious and it's a sort of ready orange colour. Um, I know that's kind of in fashion, if you like, at the moment. So um, a lot of you guys might like that. And that's another one that's really easy to apply. It's quite thick but not too thick um, and it's a lovely finish, really lovely finish. And then lastly in the kind of red carpet range is this one which is one of a kind and it's a kind of lilac -y colour. Um, but again, it's one that didn't come out exactly like this. If you're looking for this colour, um, you might be a bit disappointed because this is a lot lighter than this. It comes out more of a very light grey lilac colour, um, but when done right you do have to be a little bit careful with it because it's quite thin um, but when done right it's a lovely finish and it does last for a long time so um, overall for Harvey Nichols I've said they're tricky as they're quite thin because most of them apart from that simply stunning one most of them are thin and so you have to be really careful they're not for the beginner I would say um, the look of it is good if you if you apply it well, like I said, if you kind of are experienced in using them and you know how to get it, put it on, then it does come out looking good. The range of colours is pretty good. There's a large range of colours, but there's not very many with effects, so there's not very many sparkly ones. You'll see, if you went into Harvey Nichols, you could see loads with sparkles, but they're very, very translucent and more like top coats. Something just fell down in my house there. Um, they're more like top coats, so they're not like an actual thick nail polish, um, they're just more like a sparkly top coat. So be careful of that when you see those colours, maybe undo the top just so you can see what it looks like. Um, like I said, the colours being true is variable, so um, just be aware of that. Again, you can maybe just open it and have a look. But they do last very well, they last very, very well on the nail without chipping or anything like that. And they're really good um, quality in that respect.
My favourite one is that Simply Stunning and the price of these is $12.95. They're all the same price. Occasionally they'll have a sale. I did just get the one called It's Not a Taupe for, I think it was about six pounds. It must have been half price. Um, and I don't know why, because they still do that colour, but um, yeah. Um, the next one is Fusion and Libsy, which are basically the same company because they've actually got a website where you can order these from, but I get them from Amazon. And what I have said about them is they're good but very thick. They're kind of the opposite to the Harvey Nichols LED polishes um, in that these are very, very thick. So again, it's a little bit tricky to apply, but not quite as hard to apply as with the thin polish because you don't need to sort of guide where the thickness goes. With these, you just need to make sure you put on a thin coat because it's a thick polish, if that makes sense. Um, and the finish on them is just amazing. There, there hasn't been any of them that have disappointed me in how they have looked once dry. Um, the range of colours, fairly wide range of colours, but there's no kind of beautiful effects type polishes. So there's no metallic ones or there's no glitter ones, as far as I know, or from what I've seen on Amazon and even looking at their website. Um, the colours are very true. So what you see um, is what you're going to get. So that's pretty good. Um, there is one colour in it which is called uh, Garnet Glaze, which is this one. It's a beautiful raspberry red colour. And this is the only one out of the probably five that I've got that dis does chip. Um, so no matter how you put it on, I found every time I've used this, it does chip in a couple of days, which is a shame because it's such a beautiful colour. Not so much on my toes, funny enough. So I've ended up using this on my toes um, and it doesn't chip there. But if I put it on my hands, it does chip. The rest of them don't chip at all. Um, and my favourite colours in this range are this one, which is Sassy Chick. It's a kind of baby pink colour. Um, really lovely baby chick. Baby, baby chick, baby pink with a little bit of sheen. Um, then I really like this one, which is a gold colour, and it's a really stunning gold colour. Um, it's called Gold Rush, and that's by Fusion. And then one by Libsy, which is called Purple Fiend, and it is such a gorgeous purple. You won't be able to get the true colour of it here, but when it is on, it's just such a, like it's an electric purple. It's really, really lovely, but definitely wearable. It's not like, um, you know, a punk purple. It's really, really lovely, and it lasts, so. So that's Fusion and Libsy. There's two more. The next one is Jellish. And this is what Jellish looks like. Now, I've ordered, this is a really funny and probably a bit boring story maybe, but um, I'll try and keep it short. I've ordered two polishes from the, from Amazon, from Jellish. And I ordered them both from a company called Harmony Nail Polish. And that was a mistake, I have to say. The customer service wasn't very good. Um, because I ordered two, Jet Set, this, which is this one, and... I can't remember the name of the other one. Mint of Spring. Mint of Spring is what it was called. Actually, I ordered different colours, but they phoned me and said they didn't have them in stock. And fine, that was no problem. These were kind of similar. So they both arrived. I tried out Jet Set first. Absolutely amazing. I put it on my toes. Um, last and last. Beautiful finish. Kind of like the Simply Stunning one that I mentioned, in that you just kind of needed to do two strokes, put it under the lamp, dried beautifully. Absolutely gorgeous. However, when I came to use Mint of Spring, which is the light green colour, absolutely awful. It is the worst experience of doing my nails I have ever had. Um, it normally takes me, if I'm removing all of my nails, it takes me from an hour to an hour and a half to do the whole thing. Because I'm normally sitting watching TV and I'll put the foil wraps on to soak them off. This evening it took me about three hours because every time I put it on, it was it would dry wrinkly and then afterwards you would touch it and it would just peel off it was absolutely awful but because some of it was left on you'd then have to put a wrap back on and try and soak it off again so i contacted i contacted them first of all and they said they didn't think there was a problem and they didn't really know what i was talking about i contacted jellish um, on the website and they said that harmony were not a genuine seller Harmony, of course, disagree with this. I don't know what the truth is, um, and I'm very now I'm very confused now as to whether or not these are genuine, and whether or not it's just a problem with the colours. Because I have read a couple of reviews where um, pastel colours are a problem. So obviously, with it being mint green, it was a pastel colour. Um, but what I would say is, like I said, this Jet Set one was absolutely beautiful. So I would definitely use these again. I think it was just um, a one-off 
problem with that color and potentially that company so i would maybe go direct to the website there is a gelish website and i think that's actually called nail harmony unfortunately it's quite a similar name but they have their own website so i would definitely order from them again um, and see how i got on because i was very happy with the jet set color um, these are 15 pounds so again quite expensive and then <clears throat> last but by no means least is the boots um, nail polishes and this is called sensation nail so you can actually buy the lamp from them and you can buy um, all nail polishes in boots. obviously I haven't tried their lamp but I have tried a lot of their polishes and with no exception they are all brilliant absolutely brilliant they're easy to use the thickness is the same on every single one including the pasta ones the consistency is the same it's easy to apply you only need one or two strokes on it the finish is beautiful and they last and last. Um, and like I said, I, I've tried, I've got three here that are kind of my favorites, but I've got probably about four others. So I've tried seven in total and of those seven, they're all exactly the same and I know what to expect. So the only downside with boots, they are 15 pounds. So they're about the same as all of the expensive ones. The only downside is they haven't got a huge range of colours, but I'm really hoping that that will change because obviously LED polishes are becoming a lot more popular. So I'm hoping they will expand their range and I will be there the minute they come out with new colours. I will be there um, choosing them because they are absolutely brilliant. And I think I have pretty much all of the colours. Um, the only thing is they've got three kind of red colours that look almost the same, which is a bit bizarre. Um, but there you go. So the colours that I've got from them that I love, Pink Chiffon which is, it's just a beautiful pink. It's a baby pink. It's not one with shimmer or shine or anything. It's just a really lovely um, pink, pastel pink. Then this one is called Heirloom Lilac. And again, it's a lovely, lovely lilac color. It's got an ever such a hint of gray in it. It's maybe more a very, very light violet. It's beautiful, really lovely color. And then finally, I've got Taupe Tulips, which is, actually a dupe of um it's not a taupe from harvey nichols but i prefer the finish of this one and it's a kind of it's that definite taupe so it's got gray tones in it um and yeah like i said they're all absolutely brilliant so if you want to pay the kind of full amount and get a quality polish then i would go to boots if you can if you can find your color in there um 15 pound they're definitely the best second to that i would go to fusion slash Libsy because they are although I did like that gelish polish I've not tried enough of those to be able to say that they are consistently good but Fusion and Libsy are and they are £13 on Amazon but if you're looking for something a little bit less expensive then I'd go for the Blue Sky and um, just accept that you're maybe taking a risk in that the other one, you surprise, which was a cheap one, which was £7, was very, very bad. But this one's been good. But I don't know whether that's just down to the colour. Um, so I think that's everything I've got to say on LED polishes. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was useful. And I hope, I'm, I'm sure there's other people out there like me that need this information and want to know, look, where's the best place to buy my LED nail polishes now I've got the lamp. So um, I'm going to do another video one of my lovely viewers asked if i would do one on nail art um, i'm not the best at nail art i've only got a couple of things i do which is from some very simple tools but i am going to do a video just showing you those three or four little things that you can do to jazz up your nails so um thanks very much for watching today and i'll see you again soon